Namaste. So what we're going to do today, I got an um, exciting project I was telling you guys a little bit about. Um, working with some very wealthy entrepreneurs as well as um, surprise. I'm going to say it's a surprise, but as well as um, a couple of YouTubers. But it's a surprise because I don't know who I'm going to work with just as well as they don't know that I'm working with them because um, this is an experiment that I'm doing with um, a lot of people that's actually going to connect what's called this underground civilization up with a group of people to help to stimulate the internet or the global economy. Um, many of you guys, I'm going to put it out there because many of you guys watch his channel. Um, I'm going to be working with uh, Brother Ralph and I'm going to be working with Brother Ralph remotely, meaning that I'm going to have to really speak to him physically and he doesn't have to speak to me physically. It's all going to be done on the astral plane, totally. And eventually, um, What's going to happen is, is that uh, Brother David Ike is going to eventually tune in remotely in this presentation or this visual that I'm putting together um, is what's happening. Because what's happening is, is that the, the uh, calendar and the time that we live in is getting ready to be updated. The financial system is getting ready to be updated. Um, the way that it works in the underground or the underworld, if you study it, is based on levels of clearance. Meaning that reason why people, a lot of people don't know about it and have not been initiated into the underworld or don't know that it's a whole world up under our world, and they don't even know it's a whole like it's access points to get to other planets and everything up under our world or in or within our globe. And many people don't know about this because there is a certain way to access the different levels. You have to go through very extreme rituals. And in those rituals, there comes a point where you can't get to certain access points unless you have commodities that are worth a certain amount. And I'm serious about this. And if you don't, what happens is I'm going to show you, like, if you don't get those commodities, if you don't have those commodities and are able to prove your net worth, on a certain level of the underworld, they call it Rand notes. That's where they got it from. It came from South Africa. It's called Rand notes, R-A-N-D. If you don't have enough Rand notes, you can get stuck on a certain level of the underworld. And the only thing that could get you out would be something like gold. You'd have to have something like this, like gold on you to be able to get out of certain access points. And this is done as an initiation because once you make it out, this is how they get people to the different tiers of the financial world, like your billionaires and your millionaires. If you truly are supposed to be a millionaire or a billionaire, that means that you have obtained an eye. Listen to what I'm about to say now, an eye that's worth a million dollars, meaning that you have a way or some form of a portal that can get you from one place to the next that's worth over a million dollars that you can go through this portal without having to be um, infiltrated by the tolls, the IRS, and things of that nature. So the way most executives do it, they don't tell you this, this is an Illuminati secret, is they move through the underworld and through the underground system. But what I'm working on with uh, Brother Ralph and the other conscious people is that we're going to update this grid so that people can move on the underworld or through the underground network on the surface. Is essentially is what I'm going to do. So you'll be able to move through this network on the surface. However, you would have to have what's called an eye or a certain amount of money to be able to travel from one place to the next. Because if you don't have a certain amount of finance or money, you could run out of intel and mess around and get stuck on a certain level. So this is real. This is how um, <clears throat> a lot of uh, movies and scripts in Hollywood are created believe it or not, from this type of method that I'm speaking of. The only thing that they accept, these particular entities and um, these particular networks that I'm speaking of, they only accept RAND notes, francs, uh, monetization. They only accept fiat notes, which is what the U.S. dollar is right now. So they don't accept that. So that's why a lot of people, when I start talking about debt and contracts and these celebrities end up having to do sacrifices because their family and their self does not have enough commodities that they can actually claim that's theirs in exchange for studio time or exchange for uh, 
finance through the via the underworld, which is connected to a totally different soul or not a soul group, but a totally different is connected to a totally different uh, financial network is what I'm speaking of. And the only way that they can get to this financial network or through this financial network is by visa out certain units. And they do this through. Uh, see, a lot of your so-called superhero movies and things like that were mocking this particular um, technology that I'm speaking of. If you remember, I'm going to use this example and I'll shut down. You remember in Star Wars, no, it's Superman. There was a being in Superman. He was supposedly a bad guy. He wore out black. And remember that his vision was a weapon. What he looked at could be destroyed or updated based upon what he looked at. Remember this guy? I forgot his name. He wore all black. But this is the type of technology that I'm speaking of. They move and exchange currencies through I units. It's called I units. So I'll go more to I units in the future. I want to kind of put a pin in it here. I know I've dropped a lot. Let you kind of think over everything that I'm saying. Um, feel free. Like I said, comments, leave some comments. And uh, we have people that will respond to you with your questions at our earliest convenience. So you got to stay vigilant. I'm going to um, go ahead and get up out of here and make some moves. Namaste.